Well, my name is Laura Lyons. Uh, I like suicide jokes a lot. Um, I think uh, people feel really uncomfortable when I do suicide jokes because they think I'm punching down. Like, I haven't tried to kill myself enough times, you know? Um, so I thought it would be fun if I told you my funniest suicide attempt, and so we can all feel comfortable about it and like feel okay laughing about death. Okay. My best suicide attempt, the funniest one, happened right before school started, uh, which means it did not happen during math class. And that's a missed opportunity, right? <laughs> it's like, nothing says fuck algebra quite like cutting yourself in the back of class. <laughs> So I go, did you how to subtract one, Mrs. Anderson? <laughs> so it didn't happen during math class. It happened right before school started, and brace yourself, uh, I jumped in front of a school bus, but I lived because it was a school zone. Uh, <laughs> uh, my guidance counselor had to come out to see if like, I was okay, and he had to call my mom. Uh, and tell my mom that like I had an accident at school today, and uh, my mom's first question about it was, was she hit by a big bus or a little bus? And uh, it was a big bus, in case you're curious. Uh, that's where I get my sense of humor, and also pretty solid suicide attempt. I feel like right. It's like I didn't take 15 Advil that time. Like I actually went for it. <laughs> Here's another joke about suicide people don't like. Uh, this one got me kicked off of Facebook. Uh, to be fair, uh, this was like my seventh uh, violation, so uh, they probably made the right choice. But here's, here's the joke. Uh, all I said was, I can't wait until I'm pregnant, because that means I don't have to die alone. <laughs> Yeah, Facebook kicks me off the platform. Oh. And then, that wasn't it though, that wasn't it. Then they sent me an email saying, we noticed you put some self-harm content online and we want you to know that Facebook, we're here for you. Is there anything we can do for you? Exactly, no, Facebook, don't do anything else. Please do not take any other steps you've already taken me away from all my friends. <laughs> don't need any more help. Yeah, you're like, oh, why'd you try to kill yourself? Uh, it's because I went to an all-girls Catholic high school. Uh, yeah, our school mascot was a tampon. It was awful. Um, one of the things I had to do uh, was hide my makeup for my mom. Because on the outside of my blush, in big gold letters, it said, Deep Throat. <laughs> yeah, my blush was called Deep Throat, and I couldn't have my mom Walking in on those unrealistic expectations. <laughs> it's only women's products like that, right? Like you never, you never have to worry about that with men. Like there's no time a man walks into a store and sees a pair of pants called Blue Balls Blue. <laughs> or like, you know, never walk into a store for babies and see a baby carriage called Should Have an Anal Orange. <laughs> Women have it rough. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, one of the things they tried to teach us at our Catholic school was like abstinence, of course, because like if you have sex, you guys, no one's gonna want you. And the way they taught this, though, no, the way they taught it though is they used the analogy of like, well, would you chew a piece of gum that's already been chewed? <laughs> Which, dude, I don't know if you see. Absolutely shoot piece of gum again. Okay. <laughs> when I'm 15, I will put a teenager's penis in my mouth. Not now! Just to clarify, in case there's any confusion about that. Uh, unpopular opinion I hate dogs. I really do. I think they're a little annoying. Uh, I think it's not fair that they're allowed into more bars than me. I think that's fair. The only dog 
I would be like happy scene is if like I'm in like an avalanche and I'm buried in the snow and that dog with like the whiskey comes up. It's like a homie, make sure you don't die sober. That would be the only dog uh, I'd be into. In middle school, I asked my dad for pepper spray. And my dad was like, ooh, honey, no, I can't give that to you because statistically speaking, pepper sprays turn on the victim. But if you're scared, I'll sign you up for track. <laughs> So when I was in middle school, uh, I was enrolled in track. Uh, <laughs> the good news is I can now out pole vault any rapist. Uh, <laughs> my stick is bigger than his. <laughs> the other, the other woman up here is talking about uh, daddy during sex and stuff. And you know, I never, I don't know why. Uh, women say daddy during sex because like I have sex to forget about what my dad did to me. <laughs> Which was enroll me in track when I asked for pepper spray. <laughs> you guys, I'm not gonna forget that. Uh, if I do have any issues, it's definitely like older brother issues. Like. Like, I can't come unless you hold me down and fart in my face, like that's... <laughs> that's the way to do it! Yes, ma'am! Miss, sorry. Uh, man has a different connotation, and you're very young and beautiful, so I didn't mean it. Uh, I take it back. What were we talking about? We were talking about daddies and sex and brothers. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go on to this one. Uh, I went to Catholic school for like 25 years, uh, and then, I know, uh, it was since I was three, do the math, okay, so I, during grade school, had a, a school that put on gender bender day, does anyone know what this is? Dude, Midwest, that, that's what we do out there. Like, little boys were encouraged to dress as little girls and go to school, and little girls encouraged to dress as little boys and go to school. Catholic school, which I feel like that's pretty gay <laughs> to allow you to do that. So I guess <laughs> what my school was saying that it's okay to be gay if it's for Jesus. Uh, <laughs> it's the same reason why you can go to church on Sundays and put a man in your mouth. It's the same gay shit. <laughs> I did recently graduate from law school. Thank you. My safe word is objection. In case you were trying to fuck me harder than my law school did. Uh, no, it's fine. I love school. It's cool. Um, uh, I failed the bar three times. Uh, and in my defense, they are a sexist institution. And they are sexist, yeah, dude, because they wouldn't let me bring tampons into the testing center. Swear to God, that's still the policy in most states, because uh, they think you're going to write answers on your tampons. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, I don't know, that's a good call on their part, because, like, you know, women, we're always pulling that shit. We're always like, haha, I had the answers on me all along. And, uh, that's how women become attorneys. Uh, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, but mostly the blood. Uh, <laughs> I do have a tongue ring. Uh, I hate when guys are like, oh, you must love giving head. You must love giving head. It's like, no, I didn't love giving head. I got tongue rings. I wanted my mom to think I love giving head. Uh, the only head I will willingly give is to, like, save a relationship. You know, like, I won't have a baby, but I will eat one. <laughs> Do I have time for one more? Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right, this one I'm not sure if you guys are gonna like. Uh, so I recently had to break up with my boyfriend. Well, broke up. Uh, he, he, uh, he was arrested for domestic violence. Wah, wah, wah. You know what I mean? So the judge broke us up, technically, you know? Uh, unless we do like a long distance relationship, like 
specifically a thousand feet apart distance relationship. Uh, it's just like really into those like Romeo and Juliet kind of relationships, you guys, where like I'm Romeo and he's the poison. <laughs> well, that's into as far as I want to, but that's where I'm gonna leave you. Uh, I'm